Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I'll be teaching you guys on how to boost your computer's FPS or how to make your computer speed faster. So if you guys could drop a like on this video, that would mean the world to me. And uh, let's get straight into this. So essentially, this is for people that have a bad PC. So um, say if you're like running the game and it has like 20 FPS, what I recommend doing is just turn down the um, settings, you know, like the graphics to low. That's just something you can do to get another like 10 or 15 FPS. But without further ado, let's get um, into the tutorial. So first of all, you just want to go down to your Windows bar down here and you want to right click on it and put, press run and what you want to run is temp, just temp by its own. And first of all, there will be like some folders in here and I don't need to delete any um, if I do because I've already deleted most of them, there's like 10 folders in there. So yeah, I've deleted most of them and if this does come up, you can press continue but I don't want to delete any of that stuff so I'll press do not uh, do this for all current items and skip and then to X out of that and then X out of that and now I'm going to do that again but type in percent, temp, percent, enter and yeah, there'll be a lot more folders, there'll be like three, five pages of you. That's what happens in like 24 or 12 hours. It fills up with a bunch of temporary files. So what you're gonna do is press Control A and then delete, and it should delete all of them right away. And and as I did say last time, if it does come up with a message, just press do this for all current items and skip. Um, it doesn't like um, edit of any of settings, and if it would, it would uh, say with that notice. Then yeah. So do it again, and we're gonna type in prefetch. Uh, let's spell that again. P R P R E F E T C H. Then click OK or Enter. And then continue to have permission to this uh, folder. And it should be like this for temporary files, but yeah, just press delete. Let that delete. Bang. So this next one is really important. So we're going to search um, something. So we're going to search MS config. Um, oh, I spelled that wrong. Config. Uh, as exactly how I spell it up here, then you want to right click on it uh, up here to your Windows 8 user and then press run as administrator. Just run as ad administrator and it should load up. And you want to go to boot and you make the timeout here as 10 seconds. And you can check no GUI if you want. That would just mean it comes up with black screen instead of like a loading page and it might boot your PC up faster. So you want to go to advanced options and here um, it says number of process processors should be as one for you guys like unticked as one. Then you tick it and then go to your highest one down here. Mine's four, um, yeah, and then just press OK. But I'm going to cancel that as I've already done it. And then just click apply after you do that. And then you'll go to services, then you'll tick hide all Microsoft services and then apply and then go to startup open task manager and then you should open the task manager or you can just simply go down here and task manager but yeah you're going to go to startup as you can see now everything's disabled for me because i don't need anything like that but say <clears throat> say if skype was running like say if it was enabled and you can see um if it's enabled and not by the status tab uh section and it should say enabled um, for you guys if you download Skype. That's the default thing and what you're going to do is just click on it, right click disable or just click down here disable and what that will do is when you start your computer up it won't take as long to start up with like all the programs running and all that stuff so yeah you don't need that running or anything like that. So next thing you can do to boost like your game performance say if I was running Audacity as a game but it's obviously not a game so you'd right click on it and then set priority and then click high and that will just make your game run um, smoother and everything like that. So the next thing we're going to do is um, the hard drive to fragments and all that stuff. So some of you guys might not might know how to do this, but if you don't, then just follow my steps. Go onto any folder and then go to your this PC or Windows C drive. So this PC and as you can see, Windows C uh, drive here. But it might be called my PC or this PC, something like that. And you're just gonna right click on it. And then click properties. 
And it should load up this thing here with this like color there. And uh, the only thing you want to do here is just press disk clean up. And yeah, that should just run and do a clean up. I'll just show you um, this other step whilst that's doing it. So we're going to head over to tools tab right over here. Uh, as you can see, it, it says optimize, but for some other people, because I, I, I've updated my PC, but it should say uh, something like defragment or something like that. And you're just going to click on that defragment, even though it says optimize, op optimize. And as you can see, it says fragmented, fragmented, fragmented. So you're going to, um, you can analyze it and then press optimize. I'm just going to press optimize. And as you can see, it's running the um, analyzed. It does that immediately. See, I'm just going to press stop because I've already done it before. So I'm going to X out of that. And whilst this is loading, I'm going to show you another tip. So X out all of that. And we're going to go to settings, then go to uh, PC info. Or if you're a Windows 10 user or um, you can just go to search and just type in my PC and go to advanced system settings or you can just type in search um, advanced system settings and this thing should come up here and I'm going to click on settings and it should be like this for you adjust for best um, or let Windows choose what's best on my computer you don't want to put that because it just makes it lag so much so you want to uh, click adjust for best support performance performance but if you like care about all the like the fancy moving and all that stuff like that then just leave it as it is uh, for the adjust for the best appearance but it does make it lag I'm warning you guys it does make it so laggy like if I apply this right now um look at that it doesn't even make a change like it doesn't make it look any better to what it was so I'm gonna go to custom I'm gonna check smooth scroll list boxes and smooth edges and press apply and as you can see after I do this now it doesn't really change anything all it changes is that you have a faster PC basically so yeah the next thing I'm going to do is click on settings again and then go to advanced and as you can see I've got 10,000 uh, megabytes of RAM or yeah memory or something like that and I'm going to click change right here and it should say space available so you can use that much amount of RAM but a recommended amount for me is 4,466 um, but yeah I use 10,000 as my computer is quite good and has 16 um, that's minimum allowed minimum allowed 16 megabytes so you can just like copy that down like just put 4,466 but my computer works perfectly fine like this and then just restart your computer after you do that but now onto this, like this thing that I just showed you that, the fragment thing, the disk cleanup. So what you're gonna do is just check all these boxes. I did this before I went to school today, but yeah. And this will clean up 3.58 gigabytes of um, memory. Then you would just put clean up system um, settings or files, whatever it was. And you're gonna let that run. So yeah, let that run, but I don't really need to do that as um, I've done it today. So next thing you can do if you're on the desktop and you was like uh, on the desktop selecting the file and it just, um, yeah, it really lag. You can just go view and then just make sure there's no desktop icons. That just makes it not lag as much. But as I did say, my computer is quite good, so I can just um, leave that on. So the next thing is, I recommend boost into um, Windows, uh, not Windows, to boost into Google Chrome as Internet Explorer or anything else. But Google Chrome has viruses on it, and it just like loads of advertisements on it and all that stuff. So Google Google Chrome is the best um, for all searching web browsers, playing games online. You can even watch other videos if you don't believe me on it. But yeah, so. Now I'm going to show you guys how to um, use all your installed memory, so I've got 8 gigabytes of installed memory and only 7.5 gigabytes usable. So I'm going to show you guys how to get all of that uh, usable. To go on the same page, advanced system settings, 
Click settings, advanced. Wait, no, actually, you just want to go to MS config. So run MS config. Config. OK or enter. Go to boot, advanced options. And it should be untick this maximum memory box. You should just tick it like that. And it should come up with your maximum memory you're allowed. Then just click OK. And then just click apply. But I've, I've done all that. Because mine said 5.45 usable. But now it's 7.45. So it has made a lot of an upgrade to my computer. So I'm just going to refresh this real quick. Now what you can do is um, you want to right click on your desktop, go to personalize, and uh, this is basically just gonna make your PC run a little bit like five percent more faster. So what you gotta do now is um, click on this Windows thing here. I'm not gonna click on it because I don't want it, but yeah, just click on that, and it should make it a little bit more faster with the. Uh, the background it uses it doesn't take much memory so <clears throat> next thing is uh, go to your control panel so yeah control panel and I'm going to type in un I'm going to type in uninstall um, you're going to find it as you can see it says uninstall program you want to click on that link there and it should bring you to something like this. Say if I wanted to uninstall uh, Steam, I'll go right click on Steam, press uninstall, but I don't obviously want to do that. So you guys probably know how it works. Like say if you install the program, you click next, next, I agree. That's basically what you got to do to it. So yeah, that will just literally improve your PC by like 20% right there. And this last thing is optional. Uh, you go right click on there, um, you can search power and we're going to go on to power options and it's going to load up here and the recommended one uh, is balance that what your piece that's what your pc is probably at now so you just want to click on this high performance or if that doesn't show up or if like something else is here you just want to click on this show additional plans click on that and yeah you can just click on anything but as I've got like a little extension that lets me use more than high performance, I'm going to use that and exit out of that. So guys, if you did enjoy this video and you want more videos like this, make sure you drop a like on this video. And yeah, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time guys. 25 likes on this video would be amazing. Comment down below some video suggestions. And yeah guys, peace.